Hi guys, in today's video, we'll see how we can connect an automation account runbook to Azure Data Factory using a webhook. If you don't have much idea about automation account, then please refer the documents I've mentioned in the description box. In today's video, we'll cover these four things. Uh, the scenario is we need to trigger the runbook using a data factory pipeline and, this, and run the set of tasks which are written in the partial runbook. So let's get started. The first step is to create a service principle. Now, what is a service principle? A service principle is basically an authentication method which helps you in accessing the resources in your resource group. So to create a service principle, we need to click on Azure Active Directory. Uh, click on Add, App Registrations. Type in a name. I want it to be a single tenant and just click on register. As soon as you register, you will see this screen. Uh, you need to copy a few things from here. Uh, for example, this is your app ID. So copy the app ID. Then you have your tenant ID. Oh yeah, and uh, after you create your service principle, you need to create a certificate or a secret. So just click on add a certificate or secret. Click on new client secret. Enter the description. You can even uh, change the expiry. Click on add. Uh, now here, these are the two things which get generated when you add a secret. So you'll have to copy it right here because after closing the screen, you'll not find it anywhere else. So we'll copy both of this. This is our value. And This is the secret. So now our service principle is generated. Yeah, let's look at the next. So the next step is creating a partial runbook. So to create a partial runbook, we need to have an automation account. So let's just create an automation account first. So let's click on automation account. Click on create. demo. I already have a resource group created. So just fill in the resource group. You can put any location. Click on create. Seeing deployment and progress. Go to resource. This is how your automation account looks like. In the left panel, you'll have all the uh, things which you want to create in. So uh, just go to run books and click on run books. Click on create a new run book. Just name your run book, define the type. So I want to create a partial runbook. So I selected partial. Click on create. After that, you'll see this screen opens up. In here, you can see these three uh, expandable options. These are the functions which are actually uh, used in writing a partial script. So yeah. So in my partial script, the code is already written here. So the first few lines is the code which actually helps me authenticating and getting the access to the resource. 
So here, uh, I'll put my app ID. Oh, then I have my app key. App key is the value which got generated. And then you have the tenant ID. So copy the tenant ID. Uh, the password gets generated this way. Uh, so you have to copy these two steps uh, blindly. There's no change you want to do in here. Just the arguments which you've created, you have to pass those arguments as it is. And, and then you have this last command, which is a connect AZ account command, which actually connects to your uh, AZ account. And yeah, that's it. If, because it's a service principle authentication method, we are also, also mentioning the service principle. So just copy these steps. So this authentication part is over. After that, I just want to invoke a pipeline which uh, would be there in my data factory. So this is the function which can help me do that. So I just pass my resource group name and then the data factory name and then the pipeline name which I want to invoke. Just save this, publish it. And your run book is published. So let's see what's the third step. So the third step is create a logic app and an automation account with webhook. Now, when you have a, a run book in place, you need to uh, hook it with a webhook. Uh, go to webhooks. Create a webhook. So this is the URL which you need to copy right here because it gets generated one time. So it's a one time thing. Oh, click on OK. Create. So the webhook is also created. Uh, now we need to create a logic app. So just click on logic app. Click on add. Fill in the resource group. I want it to be on consumption basis. Logic app demo. Review and create. Click on go to resource. So when you click on go to resource, it takes you to something like logic app designer. In logic app designer, just click on a blank logic app. And here I would take a HTTP request. And when you save this, the URL gets generated. So yeah, this is the URL to your logic app. So I'll just copy logic app URL. So in here, I, I would add the webhook as a next step. So just create HTTP method. Method would be always post and my webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL. And that's it. And uh, there's one more step I would want to add in here. But uh, before that, I will explain why that step is needed. So I'll explain it here. Basically, what happens is your ADF calls your logic app with the HTTP URL and then your logic app calls the webhook which runs the partial 
scripts. Uh, so your ADF is uh, calling your logic app and then logic app is calling your webhook. But there has to be a some procedure by which your ADF will get to know that your task is complete. So what ADF does is it adds a callback URI. Uh, to the request automatically you don't have to do anything and then when uh, this step is completed we need to invoke the call back URI to inform the ADF about the completion so this is the flowchart you can say so we need one more step here, which will be a callback URI invoke step. So that will again be a HTTP thing. And then method would be post. And here you will have to write an expression trigger body dot call back URI. Click OK and then save. So this logic app designer is complete. Now we'll uh, go back to our ADF and see if it works properly. So I already have a ADF here and I have few pipelines in my ADF. So if you can see, I have some pipelines in my ADF and this is the pipeline which I'm uh, planning to call through my runbook. So let's create one more pipeline. And then we need to call a webhook here. PW. So uh, we'll take the logic app URL here. So I think I did not copy the logic app URL, but yeah. So this is my logic app. And uh, click on app designer, copy this URL and put it here. And then in the body, since it's a post request, there has to be something which you need to pass to the body. So I'll pass an empty JSON maybe and I'll just validate. Close. Authentication has to be none. And yeah, that's more like it. So I'll just publish the change since we don't have any validation errors. So now when I trigger this, this should actually run a run book and then it should also trigger this pipeline here. Okay, so before we test this, there is one more step which is missing. We need to give our service principal uh, access to this data factory. So for that, we go back to data factory, click on IAM, click on add role assignment. I will choose contributor access, click on next. It has to be a service principal and then Click on select members, type your service principal name, mine is demo SP, click on select, next, review and assign. Now let's just go and test our ADF. So I'll also click the run book in one more tab to see if the run book is running. And now I'll trigger this. 
So let's see if the run book has a new instance. So see the run book started running and it should call our pipeline as well. So see it just called our pipeline here but it failed let's see the error cannot insert value into null column so i think my pipeline needs a parameter let's check so if i go in here now i can see that my pipeline actually needs a parameter so what i'll do is i'll have to edit my run book to create a parameterized call so for that in, I'll add some code uh, guys don't worry about the code which I'm using I'll paste all the code in the description box and it has to be ID let's take it as 22 and this is how we use the parameter. Save, publish. Let's go back to our ADF. Call our run book once more. Let's see if the instance is running. It's already queued. completed let's see did it trigger our pipeline yeah and it's successful so yeah that's that's more like uh, the connection between webhook and automation account and you can create various multiple uh, automations using this strategy also i'll be posting all the code which i used in the video in the description box do let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to stress on any particular section I plan to create more videos on this. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.